15 things you didn't know about NASA. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're looking at one of the most interesting organizations in the world, NASA. Space travel is terrifying to some and a lifelong dream to others, but it's certainly fascinating. NASA was founded in 1958 in association with the US government, mainly to try and beat the Soviet Union into space. There have been many manned and unmanned NASA programs since the 1950s. Some are resounding success and some famous for their disaster. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource for luxury lovers and people with a thirst for knowledge, we wanted to bring you another video about an iconic organization that has changed the world. With that said, here are 15 amazing things you didn't know about NASA. Number 1. Apparently, NASA shows its recruits Armageddon as a part of their training. They don't show it as a positive example, they show it as a test. Recruits are asked to identify as many scientific and logistical inaccuracies in the film as possible. Apparently there are quite a few. Number 2. NASA worked with Speedo in 2008 to create a swimsuit with as little drag as possible. NASA and Speedo got together on this project and made a swimsuit so ergonomic it's actually been banned in many swimming competitions. It's considered too unfair an advantage, which is testimony to how great the engineering must be. Number 3. NASA's goal is to send a manned mission to orbit Mars by 2030. Many of us have wondered what it would be like to live on Mars and how close we actually are to it. Turns out we're a good 15 years away from being able to orbit the planet, never mind to land on it and start building houses. With that said, here at Alux, we have our money on Elon Musk to get us there sooner. Number 4. The Office of Planetary Protection was founded to protect Earth in case we come into contact with other life forms. If sci-fi films are anything to go by, aliens are likely to be hostile if they suddenly arrive, or if we start pestering them. In order to protect our planet, NASA actually founded a specific department to, quote, ensure that we are taking prudent precautions to protect Earth's biosphere. Number 5. The inventor of the Super Soaker was a NASA scientist by day. As well as creating the world's greatest water pistol, he helped to develop the stealth bomber for the US Air Force and worked on the Galileo mission to Jupiter. We're not sure the super soaker features much NASA technology, but plenty of NASA innovation. Number 6. It's not true that NASA spent a fortune developing a pen that writes in space. The old rumor goes that Soviet astronauts wisely used pencils while NASA messed about developing a space pen. This isn't true. In actual fact, both American and Soviet astronauts used specially developed zero-gravity pens in space. A quick fun fact we found during our research. In the early 2000s, NASA engineers had to resort to buying old parts on eBay so they could make new equipment. When they needed a certain microchip, they had to buy lots of out-of-date medical equipment just to scavenge it. Number 7. We actually use lots of NASA inventions every single day. NASA invented the memory foam mattress, cordless vacuums, water filters, and scratch-resistant lenses for our glasses. NASA scientists can also take credit for some hugely important medical discoveries, including cochlear implants and CAT scans. Number 8. The Apollo 11 astronauts couldn't get any life insurance. No insurer would cover them, and NASA wouldn't either, so the Apollo 11 crew signed NASA postcards before they set off on their mission. The hope was that if they returned, the postcards would be worth a fortune. Thankfully, they were. Number 9. 
three men from Yemen tried to sue NASA because they believe Mars is theirs. In 1997, the three men claimed that they had inherited the planet 3,000 years ago from an ancestor. Their case was based on the belief that there was an ancient civilization there, but it didn't fly in front of a judge. Number 10. Neil Armstrong's astronaut application was a week late. The man who would one day take one giant leap for mankind nearly didn't because his application form was late. Thankfully, his friend who already worked for NASA slipped his form into the pile anyway. Number 11. NASA will text you every time the International Space Station flies over you. The biggest object in orbit, the ISS, first launched in 1998 and has continued to be an important observatory and research facility. Every time it passes over your coordinates while it's in orbit, you can request a text notification. You can sign up at spotthestation.nasa.gov. Number 12. NASA has to power down its satellites when they pass over a certain part of Brazil. The South Atlantic anomaly is a bit of a mystery and means that in this particular area, Earth's magnetic field is particularly weak. Number 13. There's a group of scientists working in Hawaii, but pretending they're on Mars. This team of six workers in a dome on the slope of a volcano, replicating the studies that they want to conduct on Mars and testing how possible it is. They wear spacesuits outside and test the psychological factors of the mission as well as the logistics. If you're interested in who else fancies a trip to Mars and is working many, many hours to make it happen, check out our video 15 Things You Didn't Know About Elon Musk. Number 14. Signal sent from Jupiter to Earth is a billion times weaker than your phone's signal. NASA's Juno mission sees one of their satellites orbit Jupiter, and when it sends messages back to mission control, they are less than high quality. One of the program's advisors has likened the precision needed to catch Juno's signal to hitting a hole in one from California to DC. Number 15. NASA has some explaining to do. There have been numerous cases where NASA admitted to being faced with alien-like activity. Here are some of them. In 1991, NASA discovered a small body near Earth that is now listed in their astrophysics data system as a possible alien probe. In 2006, NASA scientists discovered a strange noise in deep space that was several times louder than anything they would expect. To this day, they do not know what it was, and it has been dubbed the Space Roar. In the same year, NASA admitted to having accidentally recorded over the original tapes of the moon landing. We're curious to see what you guys think. Who would you bet to get us to Mars? Government-backed programs or private ventures? Let us know in the comments. Because you're still here, Here's another impressive fact about NASA. NASA will pay you $15,000 to lay in bed 24 hours a day for 90 days to measure the effects of zero gravity on your body. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.